Right, so hey guys, what's going on? My name is Ben, and welcome to this video. Today, I'm doing a part two to a video I made last year called Why I Hate Buses. Now, this video is going to be primarily focused on diamond buses, whereas the last video was more about the people on the buses, and last year it was also about first buses because, well, at the time, first buses owned the routes that I use. Now, basically in June or July... Basically, in June or July, first basically sold loads of routes because they were going to go bust. And yeah, but never have I ever known a worse company than first before that time last year until Diamond Buses came along. Then again, I say I've never known a worse company than, but then we've got Subway who, you know, don't like deaf people, even though I'm not technically deaf, I'm actually blind, but I didn't hear what he said and I, I am hard of hearing even though I can hear the fact that somebody's being loud out there. But that's besides the point. If you want to check out what I'm on, just go check the mother log, basically, where I got discriminated against in Subway, which is pretty good. Didn't, didn't get any compensation or anything. Just got an apology email from some woman that doesn't even work for Subway, so that was nice, I guess. But that, that's besides the point. Never have I ever known a company, well, a bus company, worse than first, until Diamond Buses came along. Now, Diamond Buses is actually quite, well, not an old company, but it's it's not just new from when first sold all their buses because literally they've been running for years, apparently. I don't know. They had routes beforehand. It's basically because Bolton Bus Depot thing was bought by them. So that's why they've started doing a lot of buses in Bolton and Bury and Manchester and Rochdale and stuff. Now, when we used to use First, we literally... Maybe we had to wait half an hour, 45 minutes. When we are waiting for a diamond bus, which is bearing in mind the same route as, because I only use the 471, the same route, same, the, even the same buses, they still use the first buses, just they've just took the first off the front of it and replaced it with the word diamond, with a chuffing diamond next to it. So it's not like it's any different. The staff are probably the same. They're probably just wearing a different thing across the chest. They're usually about an hour or even more than an hour late. And I thought at the time that bloody first was bad for being late. Let's take a look at what the Diamond Bus interview would be like. Oh no, I'm going to be late. I'm going to be late. Oh, just calm, calm and collected. Calm and collected. Oh. Oh, hopefully they'll still, they'll still that same. Uh, when I, when I start working here, I'll make sure buses are always on time. Jesus, can't believe I had to wait fucking 45 minutes to get a bus. Come in. Hiya, I'm so sorry that I'm 45 minutes late. Oh, don't even worry about it, mate. You're hired. You've got all the qualities to be a diamond bus driver, you see. So, you're hired, honestly, mate. Well done. Proud of you. From the journey I've just had, I believe you. Jesus Christ, that's why I'm late, because of your busties. Piss take. Piss take. You know what, I don't even want the frigging job. Eh. You are crap. That's I didn't even come for an interview. I just wanted to show you how crap your bosses are. So kill yourself. In it. Proper. Don't even have a license yet. Maybe. I don't know. Don't wanna go, I'll break your jaw. Don't know why he's gone from being gay all of a sudden to being like a old man, but yeah, I will break your windowsill. Send your bosses on time, otherwise I'll come here and I'll smash your little skull in, you little scrot. Eh, proper. Wait, when can you start? Your mum's a slot. What are you gonna do about it? Beat you up, fam. Another thing, the tickets are absolutely extortionate. Now I'm wearing this around my neck to hold my audio recorder, but I'm wearing what we call an hour pass lanyard thing because basically I've got a free bus pass thing because I'm um, child. So basically I can get on any bus in Greater Manchester for free. Um, but the first week. Not, not, the, not the ticket, the actual... The first week back at college, I basically went on the app, because obviously I didn't have the hour pass thing at the time, and I didn't even know it existed until I saw it on the bus stop. Um, 
basically, I saw it. Or basically, I got the app and I was looking at the tickets, and there were one that were like Super Saver Week. It said like Wigan, Manchester, somewhere else, somewhere else, somewhere else. But it looked as if it was reading out the places in which you could use it. Now, Manchester is literally the area in which I primarily spend most of my time in. So I say that because I've never really left Manchester. But turns out that that bus ticket, on the, the way it, the way it was laid out, it looked as if you could use it in these specific areas. Turns out that was actually just a route on one of their buses. So I paid 12 quid. Well, I didn't. But spent 12 quid on a ticket that I couldn't even use because they'd not specifically stated... They need to specifically state what buses are actually on that... that can be used on that ticket because otherwise you get the frigging cheapskates like me that think, oh, it's super weak. Cool. Turns out the tickets are actually 17 quid to get a chuffing weekly. That is mental. Mental. S- nearly 20 quid to get on a bloody bus. They don't even do a child like when like last year I used to get a young person's weekly bus pass and it was ten it were a tenner to start with and then it went up to ten fifty which were a bit daft but I didn't pay for it so I I'm, I I were a little bit frustrated for the person who did have to pay for it but I didn't have to pay for it so it's fine but that was absolutely mental sixteen quid they do a child one but that only runs up to about thirteen. I don't think I could pass as a 13-year-old, especially going to college, wearing a chuffing college lanyard. Mental. Piss take. (laughs) Now, how do I start this next point without coming across as a dick? I don't know. But basically, drivers, allegedly, are all wankers. From the... I basically am part of a... Well, I've got... I am on the town Facebook page. And there's been... I've... I go on and I check things because mainly because I post stuff in it to like I'll go watch my videos on my portfolio channel um, about your town because it's a shit all. But I was once scrolling through and there was somebody wrote this massive like paragraph and it was talking about how their I think she was 12 or 13 year old child had basically been waiting for about an hour and 45 minutes for a bus in the centre of Manchester so I want to say probably a bit more than 13 then because they shouldn't really be in Manchester on their own but so they might have been about 14 15 I don't remember the details off the top of my head but basically they'd waited for an hour and 45 minutes and when they got there because they'd been waiting for so long the phone had died it either the phone had died or they'd run out of data so they couldn't get the ticket up and the cunt literally just refused to let them on which I guess is like kind of fair enough but after an hour and 45 minutes, when the bus is rammed to the fucking thing, and they send in single chuffing deckers, which we'll get onto in a minute, it's a bit of a piss take. My mate, he does, he does his data weren't working, and he, he just about connected to it, and the guy refused to let him on because he, because basically he was loading, he's trying to load his ticket up, I'm, I, can, I let him connect to my mobile hotspot, and the bloke were like, oh, I'm going, I'm going, I need to go. Bearing in mind, he was about fucking 30 minutes late this one morning when we were trying to get to college on time, but, you know. I refused to let him on because he hadn't loaded his ticket because he didn't have data, which is absolutely ridiculous because on the first app, you could literally load it up at home, go out, go to the bus, and because you'd already loaded it up, you could just... And it worked. So basically, he refused to let him on because he would. I was stood with my foot on... Because <laughs> I went... Because I got on, because I just scanned my, my thing. Me Got on. And he were there connecting to it. And he were good. He literally nearly drove off. And I was like, wait, what? I went down. So I was like, what the fuck are you doing? And he were like, basically, oh, I'm, I'm not letting him on. I was like, well, why? He was like, oh, I'm not loading my ticket up yet. So I'm like, well, I'll just connect to my thing quickly. And there was about three people, other three other people on the bus. This were like half nine at morning or whatever it was. 20 past nine or whatever. Doesn't matter really, does it? But, but he refused to wait. Like, literally 12 seconds. <laughs> I, I timed it. It was 12 seconds for him to get the ticket up from when the fucker drove up. I was stood there with my foot on the thing. He was like, oh, you need to get off if you're on or off. I was like, well, I'll just wait for him to load his ticket up. He's like, right, well, I'm going then. He closed the door, swept my foot off. And I was like, you dickhead. Fucking 12 seconds it would have took him to literally, what's his name? 
There were three people on the bus. It's not even like the bus were random. People were late for work and stuff. And bearing in mind, if there were people on the bus that were late for work, that would have been their fault because they literally are always fucking late. Now, moving on from being late and being dicks, they are the thickest people that you will ever, ever encounter in your life. Now, after you've waited your hour for it to turn up, they send a single decker when there's about a fucking hundred people waiting at the bus station to get on this one bus. Now, maybe more more like 150. And bearing in mind, you can fit about 40 people on a single decker bus. So I don't even think it's that many. They send a single decker. Then like five minutes later, they'll send another single decker. And then maybe half an hour later, they'll send a double decker. Like just send, if you did it on time and you were organised, I don't, I literally don't get how they can, unless it's rush hour and the traffic is that horrendous, there is a standstill, then maybe it's fair enough. But at fucking two o'clock in the afternoon, half two, it's not fucking rush hour. They literally have times on a thing. You set up at this time from Bolton. You set up at this time from Rochdale. You set up at this time from Rochdale. You set up at this time from Bolton. And they're all, then literally, if they just sent them out as they should do on the timetable, as it states on the timetable, they'd, they'd be all right and had enough buses. But they're not organised. It's It's stupid. And you think, if there's something hundreds of people waiting to get on one single bloody decker, you think, oh, they'd, they'd be like, oh, we need a fucking double decker at this time of day because it's busy. You know, but no, they're fucking that, they're that, they're that incompetent that they'll send a single decker when they know it's going to be fucking heaving. Because how, how can you be that daft, bellends? But that is pretty much it for this video. If you did enjoy seeing me get vexed because it is actually, a, it's genuinely... That is the worst fucking thing. I'm like, just there like, how can you be that disorganised? The most disorganised I am is that I'll, I'll take, I'll, I'll forget my lanyard. That's literally the only thing I've ever forgotten. I've only forgot it once this year. There's a fucking time till it tells you what times you need to do it. So if you're that disorganised, look at the piece of paper that you made. You made it. Preb, plebs. Jesus Christ for watching this video if you did enjoy be sure to let me know by leaving a big fat like on it if you want to see more from me be sure to subscribe so yeah i'm ben and i am singing i'm signing off whatever my outro is for this channel i'll never remember <laughs>